of some of the things I'm talking about because if you really want to earn your man, you need to learn your man. And a lot of times we get caught up with the wrong men or caught up in a man's penis power because it's good. I mean, if a man has been around and, and he's a hoe, especially like the ones I'm talking about that hopping from here, here, and there, they have a lot of practice and they know a woman's body, they know the power of their penis, and they know how to soothe her body and to soothe her vagina. So it's really easy to be caught up with that dog kind of man. Like that one girl asked me why she thought something was wrong with her because she liked the flashy guys with the jewelry. I said, there's nothing wrong with liking a flashy man. You just have to know what type of spirit and energy he's carrying. Because there are some good men, although they still like to flash, they're not whores. They don't give their penis to everybody. You have to be able to recognize them because the man that is living to ejaculate, he's in a predator mode. And when a man is in a predator mode, he's going to look for the weaknesses of a woman, a woman that's, that's lonely. Her vagina is cold. She's laying in bed at night playing with her toys. Or she's got a man beside her. He's a good provider, but he's not hitting the walls and working the middle like that dog that she having that well, sneaky what sex pushes, with. What drives a woman to toys? Because, like I said, she needs the vagina penetration. A lot of women are hooked on having clitoral stimulations. You have an outer orgasm with your clitoris, but also you have inner orgasms inside the intra-vagina, inside the vagina walls, hidden G-spots. And every woman's G-spot may be similar, or some women may have more than one G-spot. So some women are actually hooked on coming. I mean, it's women that can be at work at their desk. They got the jack rabbit on. They said, well, it's a part you can buy hooking onto your clitoris all throughout the day. And you could be having orgasm. Jack rabbit. That one of them I know they call, I, I, I knew some girls, that was their favorite partner. That was their favorite best buddy to keep in their pocketbook. But see, I go back to when I was a little girl being raised in the country. Jack Rabbit, jump from yeah, here to there. Yeah, we're talking about the rabbits jack, out. Jack. They no, I ain't talking about no real rabbit. Jump. But a rabbit in nature, jump from here to there, just constantly moving. Yes, and they say that they have taken that same concept of the rabbit jumping from here to there, and okay. the, the, the design of it, it jump all up on the clitoris, just jump out of control and make the woman have an incredible orgasm. That's we why are they living call in the 21st it, century. That, that's, the, that's the mechanical jack rabbit for the clit. Some men, they have so much heat and intensity in their penis that you can feel it radiating through their clothes just to touch the penis. It's on fire. It feel like it's fire underneath the skin. So a lot of women start cr going crazy. They actually think because all penises are not created equal and they don't hold the same level of intensity. So if it's one hot like that and he has the energy, he knows how to work his hips, work his buttocks, and really twist her and bend her like she's a pretzel and give her the gratification she needs, she's going to be hooked and think that that's love or a deeper root level. She's become, going to become sexually, mentally, and emotionally attached, although he ain't no good. And this other man she with provides for her, take care of children that ain't even his, that woman will still sneak and get that penis power from him. But what she doesn't realize is we have to deal with our attachments and separate the love, the orgasm, and the penis. They are separate issues. Because if we're in a lower level of it and we hooked on the penis power and this man won't even buy you uh, some shrimp from Long John Silver's and what that plate, what, $2.99? Well, he can give you a, a, a mouth full of sperm and a rectum full of sperm and, and he won't even give you no light bread. It's like we have to see what our issue is because a man like that doesn't respect a woman yeah he'll hit her but if a man is having sex with you and he had the opportunity to be with you or he's an ex so that means he had you before the other man that's providing for you could get to you and all he's offering you is a side of penis when he can sneak in and out your man bed and out your man house that man ain't got no respect for you and he know you don't have none for yourself but because you're so hooked on him and you're hooked on the penis you will sacrifice and sell yourself out to let him come in the back door or let him come at lunch or come in the dark when your re real man that don't have the same penis power is handling all the expenses. So a woman thinks she getting over and think, oh, that's the best sex. But she really playing herself and he playing her because it ain't about her. It's about his ego and about his penis and his testicles and how many notches he can get up on his belt to brag about. 
you remember. That's why it's why I was saying the other show, don't let every man hit the bottom of your vagina, the root of your vagina. But they then don't you, know about the bottom. They don't know about the bottom. Yeah, that bottom when but see every man may not know because he might not have a penis to really know how to hit that bottom or how to lift to hit that bottom and work that middle with a woman. She spread her legs wide and she started screaming, saying, yeah, daddy, that's it. Or she might start cursing or screaming out all types of profanities because he done hit the bottom. And now her mind, she insane. Her mind ain't good because the penis done ejaculated all in her brain. She's gone crazy. So you don't let every man hit your bottom and your body remembers it. Just like a man will put a woman over doggy style or maybe get a mirror or something. Then they start hitting that woman from the back or on her back. They hitting her. Then they start talking. They start saying all kind of stuff to her while they're hitting her. And see, that woman is being seduced. She being seduced. He breaking her down, man. He's, he is screwing her into submission. He's screwing her into slavery by using the penis as a weapon to break her ass down. And, and her defenses, I mean, she wide open when the penis all up in your vagina. Man, you don't have no defenses unless you just really are thinking, and this is not about the love experience, this is about a, uh, a money experience, so she's a prostitute, then she's working it just for her benefit. But when a woman is really liking this man and she's feeling him and what he's doing, especially if she's sneaking around with him and he has nothing to give her and her man is treating her better than he is, he has already gotten her defenses down, but she's very weak, and that's the worst thing that can happen is a man to get you in while he's thrusting the penis in and out. Who, who, who is it? Whose vagina is it? Who it belong to? That, 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 what, what, what I say? Who? Who? And then the woman start calling out the man's name, screaming the man's name. Then she let him know she coming. When she coming, she hollering. She calling for him. Man, this stuff is programmed all up in this woman's vagina, rectum, uterus, all up in this mind right here. And that will actually bind her, actually reduce her to a calm free. So if she can't get to him, she'll slip him in, and then that's where the jackrabbits and all the different size penises and dildos come in because she is trying to, she's remembering and trying to recapture that experience. So that's why I said you don't want to let everybody hit that bottom. You don't want to let everybody spank you and talk to you all kind of ways because women, they, especially when that man pull it back, won't give you the penis no more. Women will be all in the bed at night trying to sleep, tossing and turning, they dreaming about it. Lord have mercy, they wake up out their sleep because they dreamt the man done did this to somebody else. And the thought of that, you know, is devastating. That woman's heart get to beating fast, blood pressure go up, she can't hardly catch her breath. Just to think about that man done rationed that out and laid that out for somebody else and bent them over and talked to them too and so spanked them. Right in the Having the PhDs and master degrees to put on my wall in academia, but I have a master degree in being played by men, used by men, told everything I want to hear to get men in positions. And, and I am, to be honest with you, I'm just going to be real about it. I'm very upset by being made a fool out of and being... We're about to close now. But is there something? Cause I didn't, I didn't let you talk very much. Well, you, I, I you let mean, me talk. I, but wait, yeah. Say what you want for the closing. Go ahead, say what you want to say. I'm sorry. Uh, the only thing I can say is, uh, again, I've learned something that I didn't know, and I'm definitely gonna be on the watch out, cause I know what's out there that'll come at you, and from where you saying it coming at you with all full force, all this power coming at you, then a girl ain't got a chance. So I'm going to have to stay prayed up. Yeah, we, we have to know who we are. We got to know our role. I got to keep standing in the Lord. I got to ask Jesus to keep me every day. Thank you for watching the Alexis Tyler Show. And we'll see you next time with more of Vagina Power. Peace. <laughs> Want that to go on tonight?